Hello everyone, I'm Alan from Technology Moments. This opportunity is for this PCI Express NVMe adapter that really, really surprised me as my first intention was to install it on an older computer that I had thought I was not gonna be able to use anymore, especially because its greatest weakness was not having enough independent SATA drives and its fastest port for storage was indeed this SSD drive, which is good as you can actually get pretty decent writing and reading speeds as you can see right here. For boot up disks and considering that this type of computers from 2nd to 7th or 8th generation are still being used widely around the world is very good. And that is the real importance of this video. Even though there's great controversy around how many computers run old CPUs and how many people consider them obsolete, especially the CPU manufacturers of course, here it is, another one working great. For example, this one is a Core i7 third generation CPU, I edit images and video in similar computers with no problems at all. Exporting them and having for example the videos being upscaled to 4K, that is a whole different thing and for that we use more recent builds. But going back to this one, there are many reasons why you might want to use one of these adapters for your computer. Let me show you. What you get in the box is the reference card, the heat sink, the thermal pad, which is very important, screwdrivers, SFF bracket holding screws, and the card itself, which will hold NVMEs of basically any form factor. Assembling it is very easy, just place the NVMe drive on its place, placing the thermal pad so heat dissipation is optimal. This is particularly useful in SSDs that are gonna have a heavy use and securing it with the brackets which will hold it in place. If needed, the rubber bands are gonna do a great job, which I don't know how they are gonna behave inside the computer with lower humidity and the heat around them. The first and most important question that you may have is, is it compatible with my system? It most likely will, as it features PCI Express 4 in an X4 factor. That will very likely fit and work in most computers. You will just have to check if you have an available port, as it will only fit in X4 or higher slots. We installed it first in our oldest computer, in this particular system we found a PCI Express 3.0, which let's remember this work just as with graphic cards, they will work in different PCI Express versions only at the top speed of that slot you install it at. Plug it in, boot up your system and it'll be installed as fast as you boot up and log into Windows. I was not even able to check when the drive was added and it was already available here at the device manager after I logged in. I decided then to use of course Crystal Disk Info to have a glimpse at what I was to expect from the drive and I was just surprised, really. I had not considered looking for these adapters as I thought, what for? It might just be slightly higher than that speed we get from its SATA SSDs. Well, it is not. It is absolutely fantastic even in these older systems. A little observation here. Let's remember that these SSDs from Western Digital, the Black Series, which by the way we have used extensively many of these drives and the experience has been great are not the fastest of the family, they do have close to the performance of the B3 family from Crucial, for example the 1TB and 2TB models of which you may find many tests online can offer even greater performance. So I thought, it was just crystal disk, this is just theory, well it wasn't. As we always say, one thing is the theory and the other one, the out of the box experience for the users, as we've been able to prove with our Wi-Fi 7 video series. As this system is not so powerful and still no other NVMe drives from which we can transfer files and really have a test, we only had for example these other SSDs that will read at much slower rates, uh, we installed a 25 gigabit per second card, yes a complete overkill, and read files from other servers, here what you should expect. Great for such an old computer. When you implement NVMEs in your servers, you access them through the network and you can of course count on high speed adapters, you'll be able to experience high performance tasks not only as file transfer or backups, but as well as multiple file deletion or even search and analysis, something very useful for many, as not only it is about storing data, but also being able to process it. Uh, we then took a look at this adapter in another system, one having much more recent hardware and performance was very similar in terms of read and write speeds. Of course, searching and processing such data may require faster CPUs, hence such tasks were much faster in this other computer. We installed it very quickly, in this case in a PCI Express 
4.0 and not only Crystal Disk showed us what was expected on this system, but also showed us that the unit responds as if it was directly connected to the motherboard, as are the other drives in this system. Let's take a look at a file transfer in the system. Again, this is an out-of-the-box experience, so it is exactly what you should expect. Does it depend on the NVMEs being used? Of course. We have seen many SSDs and NVMe SSDs having great initial speeds but not being able to sustain such high rates of data transfer. In our particular experience, we recommend the use of Western Digital Black and Crucial P3 Plus models. We have tested them extensively and continue to give us outstanding performance. So, in a nutshell, you will get a very reliable port when you buy one of these. I did not have to do anything to my previously used NVMe drive that I installed right here to access its data. I had seen some people argue that some other adapters forced them to format the drive before being able to read them. I wouldn't find any logical explanation for that. Am I gonna be able to use it to boot from this? It depends on the motherboard BIOS being able to boot from PCI Express devices add-ons. Most of them good and B's will, so you will be able to get a real upgrade out of your system, say for file servers, data backup servers, systems to be used to clone other drives, you name it. Very soon we'll be able to show you the experience that we had with this other PCI Express adapter for those of you who still may need to access drives from both NVMEs or M.2 SATA drives, also widely being used around the world in personal computers. Okay guys, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video, we really hope that it was as informative as it was intended. Your huge support as always hitting the like button and subscribe to our channel. You can also support us, of course, by using the links in the description to buy the product that you're considering to buy. See you next time.